Those Washington boxes in my last Penny Hunt and Phil episode were a lot of fun. So I figured I'd go ahead and hunt two more. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, like I said in the intro, I've got a couple of more penny boxes from the state of Washington. These ones come from one of my subscribers named Jim C. Jim C, thanks for the two box trade. Looking forward to getting into these. Now this is gonna be episode 30 and we've got boxes 46 and 47 to hunt. Like my last episode, I decided to go ahead and pop the tops of these boxes ahead of time to save us some time. And I'll tell you, I was pleasantly surprised with this box, which we'll get to here in a second. Now, I do wanna make mention that if you've not watched the first 29 episodes of this Hunt and Fill playlist, I always have it linked down below as well as up here. Feel free to check it out before watching this episode to see the progress that we've made in the album. That also being said, like I said, I popped open this one and uh, we've got a pretty good box. I can already see here that we had a wheat scent ender here, a wheat scent ender here, a wheat scent ender here and a wheat scent ender there. And I haven't scrutinized the rest, but four wheat scent enders on the first 50 sides I can see is not bad. And maybe there's a fifth. I can't tell, but there's a lot of old looking scents on this side. And that makes me happy. I went ahead and popped this one, took a quick peek. Didn't see any enders yet, but I only looked at a couple on the top. We definitely have circulated scents though. And that's always a good thing. Now that we have two boxes to hunt, 100 rolls to hunt, Washington State, which did well for us last time to hunt, I'm excited. If you're already caught up, you guys will recall, we now have completed 174 out of the 234 spots in this album. We even managed to add a couple of oldies last time with that 15D and the 29S. Hoping that we get some more estimated weed scents, Hoping that we get some more goodies for the album. And, of course, we'll be looking for any red examples of the copper gears that we need to upgrade. As well as any zinc upgrades if we can find them. We're not going to waste any time. I'm excited to get this hunt started. I'm going to move the book to the side. We're going to kick it off with roll one. As I encounter those wheat scent enders, I will bring them up for you to see. And we'll see what else is inside. I'll bring you in on my first good find in box 46. I know we got some wheat scent enders coming up, but it's taken us to roll seven to get our first wheat scent of the hunt. And it's a damaged 1944 San Francisco. Roll number eight. This is one of the wheat scent enders. I can tell it's a wheat scent, but it looks damaged as well. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it is. That damaged wheat scent ender is a 56 Denver. Roll number 14, wheat scent number three, and I already saw it, it's a 41. Figured while I had you here, we'd double check it for any of the doubling to see if it's one of the three DDOs I always look for on the 1941 Phillies, and it's not. 1941 Philly, third wheat scent found, oldest of the box. Grabbed roll 24 out of the box, and it is indeed one of those wheat scent enders. That's the second ender of the hunt. It'll be wheat scent number four, Hopefully, it brought a friend along. That wheat scent ender is going to be a 57 Denver. Well, we just grabbed roll 25 out of the box, and when I flipped it around, it also has a wheat scent ender. That wheat scent we found on the end is a 48D, I believe. No, 48S. We'll take a 1948S all day. Fifth wheat scent found. We're on roll number 30, and uh, you guessed it, it's another wheat scent ender. It looks like it's that 44 DRS that we talked about in the beginning. That's gonna be wheat scent number six, and four have been enders. Wheat scent six, 44S. Roll number 32, wheat scent number seven is gonna be a 46S. We're on roll number 33, grabbed it out, flipped it around, another 40 something wheat scent ender. That's gonna be wheat scent ender number five and wheat scent number eight overall. Wheat scent number eight, 
Yet another 46S, a little better condition on this one. So I will check it for that S over D, which I do not see. Still, it's another wheat scent, and that makes me happy. Roll 37, and it's getting kind of odd because this is now our sixth wheat scent ender, yet it's only going to be the ninth wheat scent of the box. So two-thirds of the wheat scents that were on the ends are the ones found. Hopefully this one's got a friend with it. Hopefully it's an oldie. That wheat scent ender, which now makes nine for the hunt in total, is a 51 Denver. Roll 38, and we have found a wheat scent inside the roll. It's going to be number 10, and it's another 1957D in relatively nice brown shape. Roll 40, wheat scent ender number 7, wheat scent number 11. It's another 40s with an S mint mark, I believe. That ender is indeed another 1944S. Third of those. Well, number 41 is going to have wheat scent ender number 8, wheat scent number 12. I think it's a 53P. Wheat scent number 12 is indeed a 53 Philly. Well, apparently it's the box of N coins because we've been finding a lot of wheat scent enders, but not a lot of stuff inside the rolls. Roll number 42 is going to be even more of a puzzle because when I flip this roll around, this is what I saw. That's going to be a foreign coin and I need to do some research to see which one it is, but holy cow, that's an odd one. That crazy ender is going to be a... I think this is a one... Yuan? Could be saying that wrong. 2002 from China, maybe the People's Republic. Feels like it's aluminum. Think it's one yuan. Like I said, I'm not an expert on foreign coins, but definitely looks like it's from China to me. Either way, we'll take it. And I didn't mention it earlier, but we have found two laureate portraits, a 58 and a 64, to go along with all those other five common year Canadians. Let's get back to the hunt and find some wheats. Well, ask and you shall receive, because in that same roll, a few coins later, we have wheat scent number 13. And that's a 1957 Philadelphia. Roll number 43. Wheat scent ender number 9. Wheat scent number 14. It's another 40s wheat scent ender. Wheat scent number 14. A 1944 Philadelphia. We're on roll 47, and you guessed it, it's going to have our 10th wheat scent ender, reverse facing this time, probably in the 40s, and maybe with an S mint mark. It's also wheat scent number 15, which is not a bad box. That 10th wheat scent ender is going to be, is that going to be a 35S? And it is. Man, I know we got a 35 something earlier, maybe it was a D, maybe it was an S. Could be one we might need. Finally an oldie with a mint mark. And I'll take that all day. Just grabbed roll 49 out of the box. And uh, it's another wheat scent ender in the 40s. This is going to make wheat scent ender number 11. And just so you know, I took a peek. Just because it looked old. And sure enough, we have another 53 ender with a mint mark as well. Which will make a total of 12 enders. Let's get into this one first. See if there's any friends. That'll be wheat scent number 16, regardless. Wheat scent 16, another 1944. We're going to go ahead and get on to the 50th roll. Wheat scent ender number 12, wheat scent 17. That 53 wheat scent ender is going to have an S mint mark. Man, one year off of the 54S that we needed. Either way, that's 17, and I'll bring you back if we find the 18th. Well, that's going to do it for that odd box. And I'll tell you, I don't know the last time I found 12 wheat scent enders, but only a total of 17 wheat scents in the box. So kind of a strange box with that many enders, but not a lot of inside stuff. Either way, we might have one for the album. And we did find 17 in the first box. And that's a good box overall. We also had an odd ender with a China coin, as well as a couple of Laureate portraits, total of seven Canadians. We had two 59s. One's circulated, and one's a pretty nice copper scent right there, which I'll add to the collection. 
and we actually got seven 69 S's. One's a beauty. Unfortunately, no DDOs. As far as the Copper Cup goes, eh, it's almost halfway full, maybe just about halfway full, which is what you expect in a box. Probably fill it up after box two. Let me go ahead and get this box out of the way, get the discards put away, and we'll start hunting rolls in box two next. Just grabbed roll number two out of the second box, or 52 for the hunt. Flipped it over, another Wheat Scent Ender. And we know this is not the sister box, it's a different kind of box, but either way, it's gonna be the 13th Wheat Scent Ender of this two box hunt so far. And it's gonna be Wheat Scent number 18. 18th Wheat Scent of the hunt is a 1946 Philadelphia, I believe. Yes, it is. We'll add it to the board and look for more wheats. Roll number 54, wheat scent number 19. And this one's going to be a 1953 Denver, I believe. Yes, it is. 53D, 19 wheat cents. Roll number 56 of the two box hunt. And we're going to have another wheat scent ender. That's the 14th out of 56 rolls. It'll also be wheat set number 20, and that's a nice number for two boxes with a lot of a box left. Wheat set number 20, a 1950 Philadelphia. Roll 57, wheat set 21 is going to be a 57 Denver. Roll number 60, wheat set number 22. And that is a 1954 Denver, not the 54S that we need. Roll 62, another wheat scent ender. Wheat scent number 23 is another 1946, but this time Denver. Same roll, wheat scent 24 is going to be a 1948 San Francisco. Roll 66, wheat scent number 25. It's gonna be a 1951 Denver, I believe, and it is. Roll number 65, and we have just found our 26th wheat scent, and that's another 1944 minted from San Francisco. Roll number 67, we're gonna have our 27th wheat scent and our 16th being an ender. That wheat scent ender is a 1958 Denver, first from that year in mint. Roll 71 will yield our 28th wheat scent and our 17th ender. Wheat scent 28, a 52 Denver. Roll number 73. Wheat set 29, one off of 30. And that's going to be a 1952 Denver again. Roll 74, yet another wheat set ender. That's the 18th and 30th wheat set of the hunt. Wheat set number 30, a 1953 Denver. Roll number 78 and the Wheat Scent Ender Barrage continues. This is our 19th Ender, our 31st Wheat Scent of the Hunt. Wheat Scent 31 is going to be a 1946S yet again. Roll number 81, Wheat Scent number 32, and it's got a really nice patina to it. Hopefully it means it's older, but it's not. 1957, Denver. Roll number 84, wheat scent number 33, will be yet another ender. That's our 20th. The 33rd wheat scent of the two box hunt. That's going to be tough to see. I think I saw a 40 something. And it's a 44, probably Philly. I think that's just damage. Either way, another 44 found in the box. Roll number 87, and another Wheat Scent Ender. Wheat Scent 34, a 55 Denver. 
Roll number 90. Weed scent number 35. This is a 54. Let me just double check. Denver, not the S. We do a little bit of damage on it. That's not any doubling. Just wanted to point that out. Roll number 91. Weed scent number 36. 57 Denver. Same roll. Weed scent 37 is going to be a 55 Denver. Roll number 92. We have weed scent number 38. And it's weed scent ender number 22. Weed scent number 38 is going to be a 53S. Not the 54S. Roll number 96. And uh, we've got another weed scent ender. That makes 23. Weed scent number 39. A 53, I believe, Denver. And it is. Roll number 99 is going to have yet another ender. And that makes 24. I already checked the 100th roll just to make sure. And there's no enders on that one. But 24 wheat scent enders. And it's wheat scent number 40 of the two box hunt. Wheat scent number 40 is a 1940 minted in Denver. Well, we finished that two box hunt from Washington. I want to thank Jim for his trade, but man, 24 enders in 100 possible rolls were end coins that were wheat cents. I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me saying ender, but I wanted to capture what we found as we found them. 40 total wheat cents. Unfortunately, nothing old except for that 35S, which I'll just have to double check to see if we already got that one. But man, a lot of 40s and 50s. Looks like it could have been a 40s and 50s wheat scent dump. Ironically, despite having 24 enders, we only had 16 other wheat scents inside the 100 rolls. We finished with nine Canadians and one other foreigner, I believe from China. We got five 59s, one's a beauty, a really nice 1973S. Not in the best shape, but I don't find a lot of S minted 70 cents, so if they're nice enough, I keep them. We got... 13 from 1969S, including that one stunner, of course, none of which were the DDO. And it just goes to show you those Washington boxes sure have a lot of 69Ss in them. I never see more than one or two in my local boxes ever. I also pulled aside a couple of nicer copper year, later year scents to see if they upgraded in the album. And it's almost overflowing. There was a lot of copper in that second box. I don't know if we have any upgrades or additions, but let me comb through the finds. And after I check them against the album, I'll bring you back in to give you an update, some final thoughts, and a final look at the album. We have combed through the finds, and despite having 24 enders, 40 wheat cents, we only had three upgrades. We did upgrade that 81 Denver. It's a lot more red now. And we were able to upgrade the 69S. It's a beauty. After those two upgrades, only one wheat scent was upgraded. And let me show you the one that we had existing. We found this recently, this trashed 35S. And I'm pleased to say that 35S is a lot nicer in the album than the one we had. Three upgrades is a nice to have after 47 boxes. Unfortunately, we're stuck at 174 of 234 spots filled. We still have 60 spots to find. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this crazy ender search this time. If you did, I would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.